welcome to Morfolio Trace. In this video, we'll cover how to set your scale and use the scale tools. Let's get started. So here we have this section drawing and we want to know what the measurement of this wall is. But first we need to know what the whole scale of the drawing is. So one thing that we do have here is we know that we have a door and in the US, we know that that's about three feet. So if we go to our project settings, tap scale, and then set scale will be brought to this screen here where we can actually input a certain scale. So we can move these crosshairs to a known uh, a location with a known dimension. You can tap here, hit three feet. Um, you can also change this to metric if you are working in metric, um, but we'll keep it in imperial for now. We'll hit the green check and now you can see our scale is registered, which is really, really amazing. So let's see why that's so cool. And if we turn on the ruler now and we move it over with one finger here, zoom in, you can see that the ruler is now measuring that door as three feet. So now what we can do is you can use this ruler using two fingers to rotate around. We can move it over to our wall and measure that that uh, wall is about 16 feet. And now the whole drawing is able to be scaled um, and, and register that. This is super cool for sketching. If you're just doing a rough sketch and you wanna start to understand what the scale is, you can quickly grab the scale of say a, a scale figure or um, another known dimension and then start to understand the actual scale of the whole sketch. So our scale tools are located up here at the top, um, which include the ruler, the triangle, and the protractor. So the other thing to know about the, the ruler here is that if you are looking for a really subtle angle of like one or two degrees, if you rotate it back and forth a few times to unsnap it, you can then get a subtle angle of one or two degrees. Otherwise it will just snap to zero. Up here is a little button that is helpful while you're drawing with the ruler, which allows you to rotate 90. And the way that the ruler works when you're drawing is that um, you can simply snap to it and it will draw you a perfectly straight line. Um, now this is helpful, obviously the rest of Trace is uh, kind of a free hand, but this is a way that you can, these are obviously super thick lines, so we'll use our scale pen to find one that's more appropriate. Um, and you can see that we can then draw straight lines, um, perfectly exact, and take measurements of those uh, different areas that we, that we want to draw. So let's look at the scale triangle. So very similar has the the scale pen or the the scale on it. As we zoom in and out, it's offering us more appropriate measurements. Um, but up here, it works just like an adjustable triangle, where we can change the uh, the angle of it. Again, it works where we snap and draw straight lines along that triangle, which is really helpful. And uh, again, we can tap this button up here to rotate it around 90 degrees. So the last scale tool that we'll look at is the protractor. Um, and this is a really powerful tool, obviously, to help us draw circles. So if we want to draw the sun over here, we can simply bring it over and we can draw a circle around it, which is cool. Um, but it also is scaled, so we can use it to draw specific dimensions of things too. So if we want a circle that is uh, 20 feet, we can try to get it right here, or we can go up to the top and um, tap either the diameter or the radius. So if we want the, di or the diameter to be 20 feet, we just tap in 20, hit the green check, and now the protractor 
super quickly is scale to give us a circle that is exactly 20 feet in uh, diameter. You can do the same thing in radius. You can change this from feet to inches. And if you want to change the dimension here to metric, you have to go back to your project settings to scale and you can change the units here from imperial to metric. And you can see that reflected then on your protractor. So the last thing that's really special about the protractor is that it's not only great for drawing circles, it also allows you to draw ellipses. So uh, you see these little yellow dots around here, and if you pull on them, suddenly you are drawing an ellipse, which is really, really cool. So a uh, quick, easy way to create an ellipse that is the size that you want to do it. Let's say we want to modify this a little bit, make it a little more round, we can really quickly do that using the ellipse tool. Um, when you're done and you want to get back to your protractor, your complete circle, just double tap the, the tool and boom, you're back to your circle, back to your scale, um, and you can input and continue to draw perfect circles. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos. Thank you.